The other story about John that is reported by Eusebius, the earliest Christian church historian, is John's visit as a bishop. By this time they called him Episcopos, a bishop and overseers of the church in Ephesus. He made kind of a pastoral trip along the Ephesian coastline and came to Smyrna. That's what it's called today. And Izmir, as a matter of fact, is what it's called today, and it's the ancient Smyrna. And it was Polycarp, by the way, who probably was the clergyman in charge there, the famous Polycarp. And uh, what he did things that a bishop does today, that is confirm people and uh, ordain people in the ministry and so on, he found a young fellow there who was very well liked by the congregation and he thought he should go into the ministry. And so he told Polycarp, you watch this fellow and send him to the seminary as it were. And then he came some years later and said, by the way, how's my understudy doing? And the bishop answered, oh, he's dead. How'd he die? Well, he's dead to the church. Now he's a leader of outlaws in the mountain. John says, get me a horse and a guide. So they got him a horse. It's the only time we have an apostle on horseback that I know of. And then they went to the bandits' headquarters, and the sentry stopped them. And you will not believe what John says. This is what I have come for, and I couldn't believe the next Greek. This is what I have come for. Take me to your leader literally in Greek. And so when the outlaw saw John, he simply collapsed and fell at his feet and wept and asked forgiveness. And John assured him that he had forgiveness in Christ. And then he became a stalwart leader in the church. <laughs> 